Raiders' Thomas Hurdle is on the move. Wow. Vegas Golden Knights. Wow. Or Thomas Hurt. Come Thomas on. Hurdle. And you know how much, and I know I've talked to wow. Thomas Hurdle, including at All Star Weekend in Toronto. Love, 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 Unreal. love San Jose. He loved, 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 loved San Jose, which is why he resigned there as an unrestricted free agent. And this is a huge deal. I guess. With him going to Vegas, <laughs> the Vegas Golden Knights. Add more size. I told you, I said keep an eye out for them. Well, Fans they, were mocking me. I had the They Twitter. have the room. But it, how are they going to fit everything salary-wise is going to be the question. That's a tomorrow problem. Yeah, no get idea. a third team. All of this. Get a fourth team. Who cares? Don't ask me in my You're major getting... junior education. Yeah. I might do. Cali's good for 1500 for Cali. Cali's good for 1500 Give me a per diem, Bucci. Cali <laughs> retention. Been here for 110 for, years. Give me a longevity. Get to the tables why in are they make, Why? Let's talk about the hockey part. Why are they wow. making this move? Size, skill, talent. Tomas Hurdle's played deep in the playoff before, been to a Stanley Cup final before with San Jose. He kind of fits their crew. Good guy, good pro, yep. great in the dressing room as well. He's the type of player, every time you come to the rink, you smile when you see him. Yes. Every single time, yep. even when, when you're not playing with him. So I know that from his teammates as well. This is a massive move. This is what happens when you have committed ownership. Completely. Committed ownership and Bill Foley, one of the best in sports, not just the NHL. He's going to be your third line center. I mean, Eichel, one, Carlson, two. You got, you know, Chandler Stevenson. <laughs> and you can play <laughs> wing or center to the fourth you know, line. I think you mix with it. Vegas has never been worried about where guys are slotting in. You know, if there's a big fish out there, they've, they've gone out and got it. I'm like, every single year. In fact, their first year of existence, they were going after Eric Carlson when he was available yep. and ironically went to San Jose. It's interesting from a San Jose perspective really quick. Mike Greer basically told his fellow GMs, my entire roster is up for grabs. You tell me who you want and let's figure it out. He's hamstrung to do his rebuild because they have so many big, fat contracts. And unfortunately, when a lot of other teams are looking at the roster, they're like, we don't want a lot of these guys. So to pry away Hurdle, who's probably the prize gem on that roster yep. in terms of what guy can make an impact for you in the playoffs, is massive for Vegas. And just the way they do business. I mean, Bill yep. Foley has said, if I can spend over the salary cap, I would. Love and it. so many teams are jealous of this. And I'm like, rising boat lists all ties. Like, this is really good for the sport. Yeah. This type of entertainment. It reminds me of uh, Ed yeah. Snyder, the old fire owner. Like, Ed, yeah. Yeah. In the late Mr. Winner. Snyder, Jerry Jones. Yeah. There's some owners in pro sports that will do any and everything yep. within their means. And hockey doesn't have a lot of those people. Correct. And, and conglomerates, here's, their people aren't hockey the people. This, you're exactly right. I remember prior to the expansion draft in Vegas at T-Mobile Arena, when I first met Bill Foley, he told me, I am all in. I am all in, all in. Army Academy graduate, West Point graduate. That's how we're going to run our organization. I'm all in. This is not just like a kind of a thing. Yep. I'm all in. And let me tell you what, what they've done out there, Cali and, and M, as you know, has been beyond impressive. And as a player, when you know your owner's all in and oh. doing anything you want to do oh. to win, I mean, as a player, that lifts you up, right? Has to, yeah. You know, you, you feel good about your organization. And another thing is, too, with the Mark Stone injury, it's not a guarantee that he's going to be back. It's really right? serious. It is, it's a serious injury. I know everybody jokes around about, oh, he's on long-term IR. They do it to get him back. So having Hurdle into the mix here, you know, that protects him as well in case Stone can't make it back. I'm told that they, being San Jose, uh, did a heavy retention. Has to be. <laughs> and it's a first, uh, a first and last year's first round pick. As well. So two firsts. Six years at eight million. And retention. So it's got to be retention. I'm just telling you, that's just breaking right and now. And Noah Hannafin is like at $3 million combined because Noah Hannafin, they got retained 75%, $1.25 million for a bona fide top pair and defense, and that's insane. Yeah. So, here, so here's the other part, too. This is the thing that's interesting, right? As everybody was saying when they came in, they're like, ah, the expansion draft was favorable. Well, it wasn't favorable. The same, same rules for everybody. But now you continue to lean in and make big deals and take big swings. That's why I always say yep. you can't bunt your way to mm. winning a World Series. You definitely can't butt your way to winning a Stanley Cup. It's and, not possible. And what big name that's been out in. there since they've been a, you know, organ, since they've been good organization that they haven't been linked right. to? Thank you. Yeah, right. What name? Thank they you. maybe have not got them all, but every Thank single you, one they've Kelly. been linked to. When Patrick Kane was available as a free agent this fall, I'm told that Vegas's presentation to him was the most impressive. <laughs> there you go. He walked in and they're like, "You are the missing piece to our second Stanley Cup." And he's like, "Do I want to go to Vegas? Like, I didn't actually think this." But if you like, they go after every big name. But then if you look at their trade deadline history. Mark Stone came to them around this time. Chandler Stevenson, Robin Lehner, yeah. um, Ivan Barbashev last year. Like yeah. They get impact players at this time of year, and they're going for it. I love it. This is exactly what our sport needs more of, too, right? Is Our sport needs 
But we start to see it in the other sports, in our own building all the time. I always say it every year in the pre-thing, NFL this, he's going there, they're going there. Defensive coordinator, Spag, Steve, all these people. Yeah. This is what we need in our sport. I think it's amazing for our game because I can tell you from the traction on Twitter and on social, fans love transactions. Right. They <laughs> love transactions. And they love a villain. How, that is how, how excited is Hurdle to go to oh. Vegas? Oh. I know we love San Jose, but... Man, oh, absolutely. They're going to, be, to a cup contender, and bona fide they, cup and they contender. They haven't had a great year, yeah. really. I mean, they're a wild card team. They're yeah. two, seven, and one in their last Injuries, ten. Though, they've been banged up. Calgary too. has as many regulation wins this year as Vegas. So, but here's the difference: there's been a steady tree, stream of players departing Calgary. No, they haven't been able to. And to me, everything started crumbling a little bit. Although they're still in the hunt right now, everything crumbled when they couldn't retain Maddie. Could so Bruce Cassidy's got everything his, there. Got a lot of new. Parts he's got to figure out and play yeah. together. You know, Mantha and Hannafin and Hurdle and yeah. a lot going on. So once again, maybe maybe the Oakland Raiders of the NHL. <laughs> Gold, Al Davis, uh, the Raiders, the, the Golden Knights.